Greetings, gothly gamers, boils and ghouls. Yeah, I suck. I'm totally gonna be reading off of something again. Um, <laughs> there's just a lot that I have to say, and I need to say it quickly, and I need to read because I suck and I will forget what I'm doing. And I'll sit here scratching my face like I always do. You see me itching a lot in my videos because I'm like, oh crap. Um, what was I supposed to say? Anyway, um, <clears throat> the game or games, plural, of the hour, mm, happen to be <laughs> in honor of a new addition to a classic franchise. However, I'm not actually going to discuss Mirror Fate. Is that what it's called? I don't even know. Um, that's really sad. Um, <laughs> for the 3DS. Uh, I thought I'd take us back in time for a Deathly Double feature. Um, a Castlevania great, and a Castlevania what were they thinking? But sharing in common many gothy traits, a saving grace for the undeniably off-putting Castlevania 64. And a visual aid for that. The very first 3D Castlevania. The game that has put people on edge whenever the words 3D and Castlevania are in the same sentence. But hey, Lords of Shadow was good, right? Anyway, this is one of two 64 titles. Um, the other is basically the same, but features uh, an alternative story, I guess. Uh, you, you get to play as Cornell, who is a werewolf, if you know Castlevania characters. Um, which sounds pretty cool, right? You know, witches, werewolves, death himself, Dracula, other vamps, not to mention a Frankenstein monster, which I haven't really seen before. I mean, they have, like, zombies and things, but this is different. Um, and one of my favorites is the first boss fight in the game is this, like, Odokuro kind of thing. It's like a big, big skeleton thing, like a giant skull. <laughs> um, which, you know, the game's Japanese. Why not? And it has the quintessential creepy castle, musically partnered with a lulling violin theme. <laughs> and you might think, all of this in 3D? That sounds like the perfect idea. You know, let's make Castlevania a great game, 3D. But no, this 3D debut was a 3D don't. If it had been a dress, it would have been what was she thinking listed. Where it fails to deliver in playability, however, well, continuity, graphics, and just plain sense, <laughs> however, it succeeds in depicting aspects of ghastly goodness enough to convince me to suffer through the actual crap gameplay. Of course, nothing makes me giddier than the classic tones of Castlevania. This entry still manages to uphold um, at least that. An acquired taste till the very end, but who wouldn't fall in love with Rosa? She's my favorite character. An absolutely sweet and lovely damsel. The only one with decent fashion sense in the whole game. Who also happens to be a tormented half-vampire who waters her flowers with blood. <laughs> oh, see, for me, it's the little things. Like how you don't actually find out Dracula's hidden identity because he's one of the characters in the game and you don't find out unless you play the game exactly the right way within a certain time frame. There are a lot of huh moments. Uh, for example, skeletons on motorcycles. What? They didn't have motorcycles back then. Um, the Frankenstein monsters, the chainsaw. Are we evil dead now? I don't know. And it automatically loses a bat for completely inexplicably unfortunate and unforgivable gameplay. But the music... It's fantastically dark, and much like Symphony of the Night, it has a lot of waltzes, specifically the main theme. It progresses from this, like, lullaby, it's kind of putting you to sleep, and then it goes into this waltz, and it's very, um, it's very mischievous sounding. It's kind of like, you're like, oh, you're getting comfy, the music's nice, and all of a sudden it's like, no, you are not safe. Um, so don't get comfy. <sighs> the game's theme... Uh, it has a lot of themes, but they kind of play on, on what makes tragedy beautiful, accepting your mortality, the mortality of your loved ones, and to remember that not everyone you meet in passing is exactly who they may seem outright. They may one day have more value in your life than ever thought possible. Well, that's what I gathered, what it evoked for me. Pretty deep for a poorly rendered crap bag. Four out of five bats. For sheer gothusiasm. 
<sighs> yeah, well, either way. Stay tuned for what makes Super 4 so super, because as I said, this is a double feature. <laughs>